Hey there, thank you for watching the video about Chrome Browser DevTools. DevTools are a powerful set of tools helping web developers to build better applications. In this video, we will learn about a few settings about the console tab in the DevTools, specifically focusing on how to turn on and off about certain kind of logging, including the one related to the cross-origin resource sharing or or course. You want to see that? Let's get started with this one. Now to get started, the first thing we will do, we will right click on the browser and bring the Chrome developer tool up and running. As the Chrome developer tool is available now for us to perform certain action, we will go to the console tab. And so I, once we are in the console tab, we will click on this right gear icon. So the right gear icon brings certain settings that you must be aware of. One of the settings that we have spoken already in one of our previous video about preserving the log. If you check this in, in, so what will happen is like all the logs that are coming in the console log, even if you reload the browser, you won't lose those log. Those will be preserved. Okay. Another great thing is about showing this course error in console. At some point of time, you might want to access certain things from another origin, means another server for, from where you don't have that access permission. For that time, you might get a course error. If you want those course errors to be very explicit and showed, you have must check this checkbox on. If you don't want this course error to be shown, maybe in the development mode, you kind of anticipate such error and that time you want to turn it off, just hide this one. So in this case, you can avoid unnecessary errors getting logged into the console. Another thing you might want to notice is about this eager evolution. What exactly eager evolution means? It means that in console, if you are part part you know, doing certain kind of operation and you want to see the possible output of that operation as you go, it means that the dev tool will perform an eager evolution of that expression and going to show you what are the possible output. Want to take a look? Let's do that. Let's take a string like A and let's do a repeat 10 times. So if I do this, what you are seeing over here, even before I pressed enter, it is showing this particular output that I'm going to repeat A 10 times. Now, if I switch off this eager evolution, you won't be able to see this output at all. So in case you want to switch off this one, you can uncheck this one. But in most of the cases, you might want to see like, okay, which way your output is going with so that you can change your code accordingly. You can actually set this eager evolution checked. Now I press enter, I'm going to get the output that it was evaluating before. So I hope that some of the settings, you know, become handy as you go along and you learn a lot of stuff about using this panel. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We'll be coming back with lot many more videos in the future. Thank you very much.